Hey, what's going on YouTube? Krosama here. And I was going to review the V2 Gundam, and I just forgot that I still have this guy over here in the background. And next to get reviewed is going to be the Gundam Universe Banshee. And it is essentially the same thing as the Wave 1 Unicorn, but it is going to have different weapons and overall color scheme as well as a different V-Fin. But it's looking super solid and my initial thoughts on this was, wow, that gold is really popping, which it doesn't really look as much of gold as it does like brass or copper. Um, so I'm actually still a happy camper when it comes to the color scheme as well as the design. The reason I didn't get the unicorn is because the colors were a little flat in my opinion. They weren't as vibrant. So uh, this is definitely something I, I really wanted in terms of how the unicorn you know should have looked. And thank you to NewTypeHQ.com for sponsoring this video. Honestly, I could not do any of this without them and just really, really appreciative of everything they do for me. Uh, so yeah, you go to their website. If you really want this figure, you can pick it up there and use that promo code Krosama. So that way you get 10% off. Now for the head sculpt, it is looking really good. I overall love the V-Fin for the Banshee. It's like, it's pretty much the thing that makes me a little bit more drawn to the Banshee than the Unicorn, aside from the overall color scheme. But this is looking super, super splendid. And next we have is going to be the body. So you're gonna have some gold right there on the top. And then you're gonna have what I believe is copper. I'm not too sure exactly what that color scheme is. Uh, but the overall body doesn't look bad at all. In, in fact, I really like it. It's a little bit more angular, uh, I would say. It's, it's kind of just has a little more jagged look to it, uh, which is fine, absolutely. But I think you really couldn't see this when it came to the unicorn because it was white. And honestly, those, you know, those shapes and angles didn't really pop pop as much. Now for the arm, you're gonna have a little bit of that copper right up there and moving your way downwards, you're gonna just have the same exact color scheme going all the way down to the claw. And the same thing is gonna be there on the right arm with the cannon attached. And then once again, you have the same color scheme on the back, but you're gonna have a little bit of gray right there for the thrusters as well as the handles for the beam sabers. The front and side skirts is also going to have the same color scheme, so no change. And hint, hint, uh, spoiler, everything's pretty much going to have the same color scheme. And on the back skirt, you're going to have some thrusters right there. Now for the legs, you're going to have that nice black with the copper. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of that light gray. And then when you get to the feet, you're going to have some black right there. Now when it comes to articulation, the head is going to be on a ball joint. The arm as well is going to be on a ball joint. Shoulders can move up and down. Can rotate back and forth with a big squeak. About a 90 degree angle bend on the left arm. And the claw fingers can pretty much move back and forth. And a little less than a 90 degree bend on the right. Ball joint right here for the beam saber. Front skirts is going to be on this like peg and socket so they can kind of move around but it's still going to be like super limited and uh, just a little bit tough. Side skirts can move out and pretty much back and forth. No movement on the back skirt. Forward movement for the leg, side movement, back kick, rotation right here at the hip, extremely limited bend right there at the knee. The ankle skirt is going to be on a ball joint, but man, this is really not going to move much at all. The base on the side here can actually move a little bit back and forth, and then the foot itself is on a ball joint, so that can move all around. Now this big boy is going to be coming equipped with the armed armor vibration nails and they actually look really menacing and pretty damn cool. And if you have a Gundam Unicorn, I would say, you know, obviously the Gundam Universe line one, but if you do have a high grade, it's going to look pretty damn good. Uh, they don't really scale up perfectly, but I think it looks okay just depending on your angles. Now it's also going to have its cannon, which looks pretty damn astounding. Uh, like. I really don't have many gripes with this mobile suit at all uh, in terms of the Gundam Universe line. It, it just looks every it looks everything I wanted it to be. It's very vibrant and the cannon looks super dope. And as you can see right there, it is going to come with an accessory so that way you can mount it on a stage. And I'm always happy whenever I do get a Banshee and I can do a lot of great poses with it. Uh, granted, there is going to be some limitations just based on the you know, articulation. Uh, that's pretty much a given. But regardless, I think it looks super damn solid and uh, you can really balance it. Like It's just on a little tippy toe over there and one flat foot and it's still looking really good. 
Now you will get a closed fist that can fit right there between the fangs. And an open gripping hand, but it's kind of awkward. And you are going to get two Beam Saber effect parts, which are basically carried over from the Unicorn. Uh, I'm not too sure if they really intended for this thing to have Beam Sabers, because, I mean, you could do it like this. Uh, you just got to, like, kind of maneuver that little Beam Saber hilt in the uh, the arm. But regardless, you can still have it like this. Uh, getting the ones on the backpack into the open hand, now that's going to be a different story, because it's going to look super weird. Possible, but it's going to look super weird. Now for my final thoughts guys, honestly this thing is really cool. Um, overall I thoroughly enjoy the way it looks. Uh, the way it feels is actually, it's not bad, but there are a lot of parts on here that is just going to pop off. Notably the head and the backpack. Uh, I just, I've always had those parts just falling off. Uh, the back skirt a little bit, but it's mostly just that backpack and the head. So uh, just be wary of that. However, I think it's going to look really cool. Uh, it's just going to look amazing on my shelf. That's the point of buying this is that I wanted a nice looking figure. Uh, didn't really want to buy another kit because I have a ton of Banshee kits already built and some in the backlog. So this is just really cool to buy for like what 20, 25 bucks, no matter, you know, depending on where you are, where you buy yours from. Um, it's gonna look good, man. The gold looks like beautiful. The copper is just shining. The black is gonna be really dull, but it's gonna look, you know, good in contrast with the uh, copper and the gold. So I don't really have any problems. I think it's a really solid, you know, toy altogether. If you really want to play with it or against the wall, or whatever, yeah, you could definitely do that too. And um, just to address like the previous video, the Barbados. Um, yeah, I, I do get it. Like some people really was not happy with that review because they felt that it was a, a biased review, and in which it was. But yeah, I gotta look at it on my end. I absolutely love the Gundam Barbados. It's one of my favorite mobile suits. Period. Um, I, I would say it's probably my second or third favorite mobile suit, and it, it doesn't matter which line. It could be the Lupus, Lupus Rex, Barbados is probably it's definitely my top five favorite mobile suits um so when i got that the gundam universe i was just super disappointed because it didn't feel like the barbados it didn't look good to me um so people who like think that i expect a master grade or even real great quality out of this um i reviewed the first wave and i already know what i'm getting and you can see it through the package you can see exactly what you're getting before you even purchase it. So um, I knew what I was getting myself into, but I was very honest. I, I actually took one for the team and I bought it so that way I can review it and be honest with it. If you want me to like, you know, fake a review, uh, honestly, you're at the wrong place. Uh, I would highly encourage you to go check out someone else who is maybe a little bit more um, going to be, you know, I'm not going to say it vulgarly, but is just going to milk the teat of their sponsor that's not this guy, man. I'm really just wanting to speak my uh, speak my voice, and thankfully, I have New Type HQ to back me up on anything I say. Um, they say, "Hey, be honest with whatever you need to say on a, on a review," and that's what I do. So if I do feel a kit, toy, whatever uh, is just bad, hey, I'm gonna say it's bad. Uh, but it's my loss. It's my loss of twenty five dollars. But I do feel like I was informative in that review. I don't think I really held back any punches. And I'm still going to stick to my opinion. But hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video, which should be coming out very shortly. But that's it for me. Bye-bye.